Mr. and Mrs. Whatever lets me do whatever we want. Because some of you requested it, here is How to Annoy a Substitute Part 2. When a student complains about the easiest pie worksheet that's due at the end of class. I mean, come on, it's a worksheet. Watch my other videos about what I think of worksheets. It shouldn't be a big project to complete a worksheet. Wait until one of your friends finish the worksheet and then copy it from them. How hard is that? And if you don't have any friends in class, guess what you can do? You can go on your phone, find that same worksheet online, and then fill it in. It's not that hard to do a worksheet in 2016. When a student sits through half the class and then asks, Hey mister, you got a pencil or a pen I could use? Bruh, it's been 45 minutes. And let me guess, you were the one that was playing on Netflix or YouTube watching all these Capo TV videos. It boggles my mind that you have a $500 iPhone in your pocket, but you can't have a 10 cent pencil. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, they let us do it. They let us do that. They let us do this. Well, guess what? Am I Mr. or Mrs. Smith? I'm a substitute, and I have no idea what goes on in this classroom on a regular basis. So, CYA, if you know what I mean, I'm not gonna let you sit on the desk, open the window and hang halfway out of it. I'm not gonna let you hang out at the doorway so you can get better service on your cell phone. I'm not gonna let you plug your phone into the computer speaker so you can play, uh, you know, that type of music you wanna play. It's just frustrating to no end. Kids think just because there's a substitute in the room, they can do whatever they want. When a student comes into class right after lunch, puts their 32 ounce monster on the desk, takes out six bags of Doritos, and begins to consume. Why didn't you eat during lunch? Oh, mister, I'm hungry. In some schools, that's up to an hour long lunch you had to eat. Oh, mister, I, I just wanted to walk around with my friends. Now you're gonna sit here, eating your cheesy poofs, drinking your drink, then when your little friend comes by and uh, you guys are horsing around, you knock your monster on the floor, and then someone comes up with the bright idea to spray Axe Body Spray to cover up the scent. Oh, so much worse. When a student tries to beg or bargain or complain his or her way out of a referral. Let's say there's a group of four students in the back of the class playing music on their phone, dancing all crazy-like, looking through the window over into the next classroom, so much so that that teacher walks down the hallway, comes to my door and says, uh, can you keep your kids out of the window? They're distracting my class. Side note, the very next period, that teacher's class was looking back through the window. And guess what? I didn't have the luxury of leaving my classroom and going down there and telling her to stop her students from looking in my classroom. Anyway, rant over. And then when it comes time for me to say, guys, that's enough, sit down, and they don't, and I start writing down a referral slip, they come running up. Oh, mister, I was just kidding. Oh, mister, don't do that. Oh, mister, oh, everyone's got to get on that teacher. Got to roast that teacher. Blah, 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 blah. You did this to yourself. All right, so there you go. Five more ways to annoy a substitute. And also make sure you watch five good things about substitute teaching because it's not all bad. And if you like this video, like down below, comment, subscribe, share with a friend. Until next time, see you later.